welcome to our cafe. Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. <laughs> I'm just doing my exercises. You can join in too if you like. Copy me. Okay, here goes. Happy face. Grumpy face. <laughs> oh, hello everyone. What's wrong with your face, Mole? <laughs> hello, Ben. I'm just doing my exercises. There's nothing wrong with my face. <laughs> oh. Why are you wearing a dressing gown, Ben? Oh, yes, my dressing gown. <laughs> I almost forgot. Well, this morning I overslept. I didn't have time to get dressed. I better go and get changed. Oh, what do you think of my dressing gown? Oh, yes, it's very smart, Ben. Much nicer than mine. <laughs> Mine's got lots of holes in. <laughs> See what I mean? That's better. Oh. There we are, all ready for action. Oh, but you're all dressed for bed, Small. What's <laughs> going on? I'm just showing off the holes in my dressing gown, Ben. Oh, but isn't it really cold in winter when the wind goes rushing through all those holes? Whoosh! Brrr, it's freezing. I should really get a new dressing gown, but I haven't got round to it yet. Oh, I'd better take it off in case we get a customer. Oh. I was in such a rush this morning, I didn't even get a chance to brush my hair. Ooh, I hope it doesn't look too silly. <laughs> Why couldn't you sleep, Ben? I don't know. I just felt really wide awake. It sounds like we've got a customer. I'm on my way! Woohoo! <laughs> So who's in our cafe today, Small? Give us some clues. Well, he's a wee boy from a nursery rhyme. A wee boy? What does wee mean? Wee means little, and I'll give you another clue. He's wearing a nightgown. I think it's Wee Willy Winky. So what can we cook for Wee Willy Winky? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One evening I was out for a peaceful stroll. It was nine o'clock and the street should have been quiet. But quiet it was not. In every house in the street, the children were hopping and leaping. Why are all the children still awake? I asked a rather flustered looking dad. They're waiting for Wee Willy Winky. He usually comes to check they're in bed around eight o'clock each evening, but he's really late tonight. I decided to go and visit Wee Willy Winky. His house was very dinky. <laughs> I knocked on his winky dinky door and a very poorly looking Willy Winky answered it. I've got a cold. He said, I have to stay in bed. I had a little think and I came up with a plan. I know, I'll pretend to be you. <laughs> so I borrowed Wee Willy Winky's nightgown and cap and off I went. Wee Willy Small ran through the town, upstairs and downstairs in his nightgown, knocking on the windows, calling through the locks. Are the children all in bed? It's past eight o'clock. It wasn't long before all the children were tucked up in bed, dreaming sweet dreams and snoring sweet snores. Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure!
So all those children went to bed in the end thanks to you, little cook. What a hero. Well, hey! Thanks, Ben. I do my best, but we still don't know what to cook for Wee Willy Winky. Ooh! ooh. I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there! And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! <coughs> hey, hey! I found the perfect recipe for Wee Willy Winky. It's an 8 o'clock cake. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need eggs. Here we go. Eggs. Yep, got those small. Butter. Butter in the fridge as well. Here we are. Butter. Yep. Self-raising flour. Over to the cupboard. Flour. Yep. Sugar. Sugar in here as well. Got the sugar small. Tin prunes. Ooh. Tin pr Oh, there we go. Tin prunes. Got those. Drinking chocolate or grated chocolate. Oh, yes. Drinking chocolate. I like this. Here we are. Yep. And for decoration, icing sugar. Ooh, there we go. Great. And here we are. Everything we need for the recipe. I've just got one question, Ben. How do you make drinking chocolate? It's a good question, little cook. But I don't know. Hey, why don't you whiz off and find out and I'll get everything ready. Hey, that's a great idea. See you later. <laughs> Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoosh! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. This is one of my favourite places. Chocolate comes from cocoa beans that grow on trees. Here are the picked cocoa beans. This is a chocolate factory where they make drinking chocolate. Oh, look at all the yummy, scrummy, runny chocolate. This lady is going to make the drinking chocolate. First, she puts some of the melted chocolate into a tray. The tray has a little rattle and a shake to get rid of all the air bubbles. Pop! Pop! Hoo-hoo! Be careful not to spill a drop of that chocolate. Now the melted chocolate is put into the cold fridge so that it can set. It becomes hard like this one. Green for go! The machine is breaking up the big bar of hard chocolate into lots of tiny little flaky bits. These little flakes of chocolate are used to make drinking chocolate. The chocolate is scooped up into bags. Then it's weighed. Put in a tin. And then it's made into drinking chocolate. <laughs> That was fun. See you later. I've heard people say that when you're tired, you should have 40 winks. So that's what I'm doing. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Way! I'm back. I found out all about drinking chocolate. Chocolate is made from cocoa beans, which grow on trees. Oh, that's amazing. Come on, little cook, let's get started. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles. And envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. 
treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and, and ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to 8 o'clock cake? You do? There were eggs, two, butter, 100 grams, self-raising flour, 100 grams, sugar, 100 grams, tin prunes, 100 grams, drinking chocolate or grated chocolate, two tablespoons, and for decoration, icing sugar, one heap tablespoon. Whoopee! Let's get started! The first thing we need to do is turn on the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. Gas mark four. And this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because the oven is hot, hot, hot. Right. I've cut out some baking paper the same size as the bottom of a cake tin. You can do this by drawing around the cake tin and then cutting out the circle. I've also lightly greased the bottom of the baking tin with a little bit of butter. And now, I'm going to pop in the paper. That's so the cake doesn't stick to the tin. Next, put the butter and the sugar into a mixing bowl and beat them together until it becomes nice and fluffy. Light and fluffy! Now, break the eggs into a separate bowl like this And the other. There we go. Break the eggs into a bowl. That's cracking. <laughs> and then beat them together using a fork. Now this is a sort of sideways mixing. And we're doing it to try and get air into the eggs so that our cake will go nice and fluffy. Would you like to have a go small? Oh, yes, please. There you go. Way! I love mixing. Already, Ben. Thanks, Small. Now, add the egg to the butter and sugar mixture a little at a time. And stir the egg in with a wooden spoon. There we go. And a little more. And another stir. I wonder how I'm going to mend this dressing gown. <laughs> Don't worry, Small. We'll find a way later. Now, put the flour into a sieve. And then sieve the flour into the bowl. Oh, it looks like snow. Add the drinking chocolate or grated chocolate to the bowl. Hey, would you like me to teach you my lullaby now? Good idea. You teach me the lullaby while I mix the mixture until it's nice and smooth. Now add the prunes. Oh, they smell delicious. Snuggle down and rest your head. Sail away on your cloud bed. Your cloud bed, your cloud bed. Sail away on your cloud bed. Hey, Ben, would you like to sing it with me? Ben? Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, Small. Your lullaby was so good, it sent me off to sleep. <laughs> Perhaps we'd better finish the cooking first before we sing again. Good idea, Small. The mixture's nice and smooth now, so it's time to add it to the cake tin. In it goes. It's a gloopy job. <laughs> <laughs> and gloopy jobs are the best. Spread it all around the tin. And then... We can pop it into the oven. So, oven gloves on. 
and over we go. Open the oven and pop it inside. And remember, this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because the oven is hot, hot, hot. It needs to cook for 30 minutes. I'll set the timer for 30 minutes. The cake is cooked and cooled and now it's time to decorate it. So, I've made an eight and some clock hands out of nice clean card. And I put some little tags on the back. Now wait till you see this. I'm going to pour the icing sugar into a nice clean sieve. And then I'm going to shake it over the cake to give a nice even dusting all over our cake. Now, using the tags on the back of the card, carefully lift the hands off the cake and the eight. And there we are. Eight o'clock cake. Let's get it to Wee Willy Winky straight away. Right you are, little cook. Eight o'clock cake coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha, here comes the plate. Oh, yes. Ho, oh, ho. And it looks like Wee Willy Winky enjoyed his eight o'clock cake. Look, Small, he's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Hoo-hoo. Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, thank you for the yummy eight o'clock cake. I'm sorry that you couldn't go to sleep last night, Ben. I thought you might like some of my special lavender sleepy dust. Sprinkle it on your pillow and you'll soon be snoring sweetly. And there's a cosy dressing gown for small too. Lots of snoozes, wee willy winky. Hoo-hoo! Small! <laughs> there you go. Oh, this smells lovely. I feel sleepy already. And this is lovely and warm. There's not a single hole in it. Brilliant. Sweet dreams. See you soon, everyone. Bye. Big cook, little cook. Welcome to our cafe.